Hello. Today we're talking about lesson 6.2, size of equal groups. We're on page 223 of the third grade textbook. Our essential question for this lesson is how can you model a division problem to find how many in each group? So you should be able to explain that at the end of the lesson. So unlock the problem. Hector has 12 rocks from a nearby state park. He puts an equal number of rocks of his rocks in each of three boxes. How many rocks are in each box? So we know he has 12 rocks total. He's going to share those with three boxes. What do we need to find? We need to find how many rocks are in each box. And circle the numbers you need to use. Okay, so we need to use 12 rocks and we need to use the three boxes. So when you multiply, you put equal groups together. When you divide, you separate into equal groups. And we can divide to find the number in each group. So you can use counters to model the problem. So use 12 counters. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So I have 12 counters. And it says that we're going to put those 12 rocks into three boxes. All right, so three boxes we can represent using three circles. And then we would put one in each circle until we've used all 12 of our counters. That's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I have four counters in each group. So if I was just using a drawing, you see that they've put one counter in each group, and we're going to keep adding one to each group until we're until we've shared all twelve. So that's six right there. Nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there are four counters in each group. So he put four boxes, uh, four rocks in each box. Simple enough, right? And as far as the division problem, this is what it would look like. 12 divided by three. 12, 12 rocks, three boxes, four rocks in each box. All right, number... <clears throat> Page 224, try this one. Madison has 15 rocks. He puts an equal number of rocks in each of five boxes. How many rocks are in each box? So here is she, they want us to draw five squares to show five boxes. Like circles are fine too, okay? If you just wanna keep drawing circles, those are, those are fine. It's just a way of showing the number of groups that we have. So the five boxes are our groups. Okay, so All right, so we have five boxes, and we're going to put one counter in each square to show the rocks. And we're going to continue drawing one counter at a time in each box until all 15 counters are drawn. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I haven't got to 15 yet, so I'm going to keep adding 7, 8, 9, 10. I still haven't got to 15 yet. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there are how many rocks in each box? Three. So there are three rocks in each box. How many counters did you draw? 15. How many equal groups did we make? Five. The boxes were the equal groups. How many counters are in each group? Three. Okay, that seems straightforward. Okay, so the division problem for that one, if we wanted to just write a division problem, it would be 15, the total number of rocks, shared with five equal groups, and we would put three into each equal group. All right now, 225, number one, John has eight counters. He makes 
four equal groups. Draw a picture to show the number of counters in each group. All right, so we have eight counters he's going to share, four equal groups. So one, two, three, four. Those are our four equal groups. Now he has to share eight counters amongst those four groups. So let's put one in each group. Okay, that's four. So I can add more, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so two in each group. Our division problem would look like eight divide by four equals two. Use counters or draw a quick picture on your math board. Draw equal, make equal groups and complete the table. I have 10 counters and I'm going to make two equal groups. So there's my two equal groups and I need to share 10 counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I put five in each group. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 24 into 6 equal groups. Okay, we're going to share 24 into these 6 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so I shared all 24, and it looks like we have four in each group. And that division problem would be 24 divided by 6 equals 4. All right, let's continue. Number four. <clears throat> Use counters or draw a quick picture. Make equal groups. Complete the table. 14 counters shared with seven groups. All right, so seven circles to represent the seven equal groups, and we're going to share 14 counters. All right, so that's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so there's just two in each group. That division problem was 14 divided by seven. And 21 counters shared with three equal groups. Okay, so three circles represent my three equal groups, and I'm going to share 21 counters. Six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. So there are seven in each group. 21 divided by three equals seven. <clears throat> Number six, Cameron and Jody collected 20 stamps. Cameron says they can put an equal number of stamps on five pages of their album. Jody says they can put an equal number on four pages. Whose statement makes sense? Well, so what we're saying here is the number of stamps isn't going to change. Okay, well, they have 20 stamps. The pages represent the groups. So Cameron. says five groups. All right, so draw five circles for Cameron. And Jody is saying, I'm going to use four pages or four groups. So just share the 20 with both of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so he shared 20 divided by 5 equals 4. He put 4 into each group, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. All right, so his, his is right for sure. Jody, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, well, she shared them equally too. She went 20 
divide by 4 equals 5. They both make sense. Cameron would share 4 in each group. Four on each page. Jody would share five on each page. All right, 226. Use the table for seven and eight. So in our table, we have photos. That's the title of our table. We have three names, Madison, Joe, and Ella, and these are their numbers of photos, 28, 25, and 15. All right, so Madison puts all of her photos in a photo album. She puts an equal number of photos on each of four pages in her album. How many photos are on each page? So this is just like what we just did with number six. She has four groups. The four pages are four groups, and she needs to put her 28 photos equally on those four pages. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. She puts 7 photos on each page. Joe and Ella combine their photos. Then they put an equal number on each page of an 8-page photo album. Joe and Ella combine. How many photos are on each page? So Joe and Ella combined theirs. So the first thing we need to do is add those, right? Combine means to add. Five ones plus five more ones is ten ones. We all can trade that for one ten and zero ones. Two ten plus one ten is three tens, plus the regroup ten is four tens, so 40. All right, so they have 40 photos to share with eight pages. All right, so there's our eight groups or our eight pages, and we just need to share the 40 pictures by using counters. So there's eight. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Thirty-two. Forty. All right, so forty pictures divided by eight groups. Looks like we have five in each group. So five photos per page. Rebecca found twenty-eight seashells. Can she can she share the seashells equally among the six people in her family? Kind of like a tongue twister, huh? Can she share the seashells equally among the six people in her family? Explain. All right, so we have 28 seashells and we have six people. So that means we have six groups. All right, so let's see if we can share 28 evenly. Equally, sorry. All right, well, that's 12. That's 18. That's 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. No, so I shared all 28, but these two don't have five. So no. Cannot. All groups. Do not have <clears throat> five 
seashells. Some only have four. Okay. So again, if they're going to be shared equally, every single shell has to be, every single group has to have the same amount. So these four groups that have five are not equally shared with those two groups, which only have four. All right, number 10. Zena has nine rocks from a trip. She puts an equal number of rocks in each of three bags. How many rocks are in each bag? Nine rocks, three bags. So share your nine rocks into the three bags. Three, six, nine, three. There are three rocks in each bag. So that's, that's it for uh, size of equal groups. In our next lesson, we'll be talking about the number of equal groups. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.